Sunday is Mother's Day, so we'll end the week with Steve Hartman's nominee for Mother of the Year, tonight's Assignment America. You can understand why some visitors to the Burlington, Iowa Humane Society get a little freaked out. It's not every day you see a dog have a kitten for lunch. Grab him, grab the little kitty. And not just a kitten. This dog is about to have a whole litter of kittens for lunch. Uh -oh. The story of this unusual dining arrangement began a couple months ago. Lily, a mix of lab and who knows what, was found along an old farm road. She was pregnant and soon had six puppies who all got adopted. And everything was fine until the kittens showed up without a mother. And we didn't know what to do. I mean, it, it takes a lot of effort to bottle feed all these kitties. Teresa Kurth works for the shelter and helped come up with the solution. You know, there's a big difference between a dog and a cat. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought, let's just try. Try and see if Lily would have the kittens for lunch, which she did. Breakfast and dinner, too. To see this dog just take to these baby kitties instantly, I just think Lily's one of a kind. Yes and no. There was also the cat who heard an abandoned fawn crying for food and took in the little deerlet. Or how about the baby horse raised by a goat? And perhaps most amazing of all, the leopard, who in killing a baboon unwittingly created an orphan. The leopard could have easily made the baby an appetizer, but instead sat down beside and mothered it. Why would an animal show such grace? Why would Lily, when one of the kittens fell into her water dish, rescue the little troublemaker and carry him off to safety? Why? Other than the obvious. I mean, it's, it's what she does. Indeed, for most mothers, it's just what they do. An instinct so deeply wired into them that often all they know is to love and care for life. Understanding it completely will take scientists many more years. But feel free to appreciate it this weekend. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Burlington, Iowa.